Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. Japan surprised markets on Friday with a surprise rate cut by, uh, by 40 basis points, which are completely uh, out of the blue, which caused the, uh, the global markets to spike up a little bit higher. It's already having quite a good session anyway uh, on the back of some quite um, good data that that come out of um, out the US and everything else. But we were away from our, a lot of our recent highs. You can see this candle here uh, almost uh, chopped those gains in half by the time it, it came to close. We've had a little bit of follow through there today. Uh, potential support remains now at 17738. Um, uh, the kind of finance um, minister in China has hinted that this might not be the only rate cut that China might push out there. In the fact, we've seen uh, Chinese um, kind of estate stocks and um, building contracting stocks really shoot up there, uh, up almost 6% uh, over in the Chinese stock markets, with the Hang Seng also up about 1.5%. Not the Hang Seng index itself, but construction related. Um, companies over there. So really looking at this Chinese uh, rate cut I see it as, as quite a big deal in that part of the world. Uh, it's not necessarily followed through completely in the US side. Over in Germany, however, because uh, Germany do export a lot to China, uh, the German DAX has continued to push on that little bit higher. But nevertheless, 17738 is the next potential support on the US 30, with the tip of this candle here now being the new resistance. In fact, I should probably just add that in. Uh, and as you can see there, that is running about 17,399, uh, very close to what well, pretty much is 17,900. So looking at the UK 100, it's also still doing quite well, not quite the same staunch sell-off we saw on the Dow. Uh, potential resistance in, in play at 6,771. Uh, and that was obviously the lows there from September. We've got the golden cross and moving averages. Um, the slow stochastic and the RSI are overbought right now, but there's probably still a little bit of room for maneuver here. If we do get above 6,771, break above that, that does open up the UK 100 to 6906, but we've not broken it yet. But we are we are looking okay this morning. It's not uh, punching on uh, higher, but it is moving in the right direction. So Japan 225 uh, still failing to break resistance at 17496. Not much else to say here. Uh, dollar yen has been sideways uh, all morning. Uh, obviously, we have had uh, a lot of positive dollar news. We've had some quite mixed yen news. Obviously, Bank of Finance um, Minister over in, the, in Japan also talking uh, up the yen, saying that he can't let the, um, the yen depreciate. Well, he's not very happy with how quickly it's depreciating there as well. So looking at 17,498 as the next potential resistance on here. So looking at that dollar yen position as well, we can see there that we are in the middle of two ranges right now, looking at potential resistance still at 124 spot 24. Uh, next potential support is a little bit down at 114 spot 74. And we are quite, you know, quite a, a little bit of reversal away from 120. Around about this area has been seen as a danger zone for some Japanese firms there previously. Uh, in regards to intervention from Japan, still seem to be particularly unlikely. But when the finance minister is saying that he's not, he thinks that the yen is depreciating too quickly, um, that does put the brakes on quite a few things. So, as you see there, we have retraced ever so slightly down, trading below 118 yen. Um, but there's um, there's still a little bit of life in it as of yet. So finishing up as uh, crude oil West Texas. Uh, we're bouncing out close to $77, uh, 77 of spot 40. Uh, the next potential support is still at 75. Obviously, this is a good shot in the arm with the Chinese rate cut, uh, but it's not followed through again a little bit today. So we need to get this just a little bit um, above 77 before we can say that we're out of the um, this kind of longer term downtrend. Uh, you know, if it gets start, starts to get above 80, that would be a little bit more systematic of that move. But certainly rate cut in China should help West Texas crude. But, you know, looking at it today, it's not really necessarily doing it quite so good. So looking at gold, gold's trading in between two ranges right now, 11.86 as support and 12.18 as potential resistance in the middle of two ranges right now. Um, there's not really much to talk about right here because we are basically floating in the middle of no man's land right now. So technicals are relatively neutral. Uh, it could really go either way and we're actually flanked on both sides by uh, that 21 and 55 period SMA. So finishing up with uh, Euro dollar, uh, Euro dollar obviously completely falling over there uh, on Friday. Looking at this is on the back of Mario Draghi, who was talking about quantitative easing, stimulus measures, rate cut. Basically, very, very uh, kind of pessimistic view on the eurozone, um, and obviously all that stimulus that was talked about is what's helping to propel the Germany 30 up on top of the Chinese. Um, 
announcement as well. So the Germany 30 is probably where a lot of interest is going to be today anyway. But as you can see there, we bounced off potential support one spot, 23.67. Longer term potential support one spot, 20. With traders giving the euro a wide berth from the back of those draggy comments right now, uh, it's just not in vogue at all. So finishing up with GBPUSD, uh, as ever, wrong side of one spot, 57.43. Not as interesting as euro dollar, to be completely honest. Uh, we're still kind of consolidating uh, round about that potential resistance. Most traders will probably be looking at euro dollar today. Uh, dollar yen, uh, euro yen as well is also quite interesting. Um, and just keep an eye on one spot, 54.24, as be the next potential support. So in regards to economic data, let's just fast forward on to uh, today. We do have the German IFO business survey, so make sure you've got your alert set for that. That's probably going to be the biggest bit of information coming out today. And if you fast forward on to Tuesday, we do have uh, US GDP, um, and we've got some US retail sales as well, plus uh, CCI in the US. So uh, euro dollar, that might be an extra catalyst there. And um, what to do is keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Make insights part of your life going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.